ABC Saturday News. Good evening, everyone. I'm Maravel Tarouk. Canada's largest Muslim convention is underway in Mississauga. More than 20,000 people are gathering this weekend to talk about their faith and to meet others in the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. Adrian Chung joins us live now from the International Centre. So, Adrian, the convention also aims to tackle some of the biggest issues facing Muslims today. Well, that's right, Maryville. Certainly one of the big challenges they're facing is the misconceptions about the uh, Islam faith and what they say is really uh, a misunderstanding completely of what a vast majority of Muslims believe. And one way to fight against that is inviting people uh, into these doors. They've invited people from all sorts of different faiths. Around this uh, this hall alone, there are well over a thousand people. And now this is the 41st year of this convention, and it certainly has uh, garnered a lot of attention over the years. There are uh, multiple provincial and federal ministers in attendance today, as well Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and Stephen Harper have both given addresses here, uh, largely about the uh, contributions of Muslim Canadians uh, in our country today. Here's how some people are uh, enjoying this convention this weekend. Everyone can like connect, they can find people that they haven't seen for a long time. And it's just so fun to be here. All I wasn't born in Canada, but Canada is my home just because uh, uh, it's, it welcomes our peaceful message. Now, Adrian, one of the big themes developing at this convention is the fight against radicalization. Yeah, that's right. I mean, certainly that is a big question that many Muslim communities in Canada and across uh, Europe that they're asking themselves of how to keep those extremist views, which again have very little to do with uh, the religion, at bay and away particularly from young people and from mosques. And they're holding uh, a number of different uh, speeches today as well as workshops and uh, ex uh, events here as well. And rather than shying away from uh, that discussion, which of course can be a very uncomfortable one, uh, they're tackling it head on. Here's some of the discussions that they're having here. We recognize that our work is cut out. We recognize that extremist groups are, have tried to hijack the religion, which is why we understand it has never been more important for us to put on these types of events and to show the world that that is a mis gnomus of Islam. If you come into the women's hall of this convention, you will see that the largest attendees here are actually women. Um, and they are executing their own programs. Uh, they have their own executives. So really taking a leadership part. Now, after 41 years, this convention has gotten so large that next year they're going to have to move into a different space. They're planning on a new location just north of Toronto that could uh, fit as many as 50,000 people. Again, this convention uh, draws Muslim Canadians from all across the country as well as around the world uh, as the Muslim population continues to grow in Canada. Maryville? Clearly a growing interest in that. Thanks so much for this, Adrian.